Hello, and welcome to episode 69 nice. of Anime Territory. I am your host this week, Benjamin Chabbing, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Johnny the Changeling Ruha. Okay. I want an excuse to bring up the Changeling. So it, it doesn't have anything to do with... No, I didn't write a nickname, so I'm just like... Okay, so just another movie we yeah. watched this week, which we both love, called The Changeling. Yeah. And now I'm going to ramble about the changeling for a couple of seconds. Yeah, give we us need some a of bad that. time, yeah. Okay. This is this is our third episode on Garden of Sinners. We're running... No. This would be... Our fourth. Our fourth. We were one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and epilogue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Whew. Uh, <laughs> we're running a little dry, but I don't know if we would have... How would we have done this differently? Like, Maybe two episodes... One through four, and then five through the end, but I don't know. I kind of like how we did it. Yeah, it's just, it feels like Epa Movie 7 here is, uh, or Movie Sode 7, Episode 7, Movie 7, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it. Um, that is, it's almost the most straightforward <laughs> Yeah, of the, of the episodes, uh, that being said, eight is the most contra not eight. Epilogue is the most contradictory. I episode. still don't know what happened. I just watched. I mean, it I know it. what happened. What did they talk about though? What happened in Epilogue is they talked. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it snowed. And at one point, his umbrella blew away, and then Shiki was gone. How did? I guess I don't know what happened to Shiki. Did she teleport? Was she never there to begin with? Was she some sort of ghost? Good, good. Speaking of ghosts, the Changeling. You should yeah. watch it. Yeah, if you like, if you like spooky movies that aren't scary, it's great. Yeah. It's which is what we like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we should note this is the one from 1980. Yes, not the <laughs> not the 2023 TV show. There's a 2023 TV show. Yeah, it's. Uh... I know there's like an Angelina Jolie movie called The Changeling. Yeah, so there's the Changeling 1980, uh, the Changeling 2008, which is like, I don't, I know nothing about that. Yeah. And the Changeling 2023 is a television series. Interesting. On Apple TV. I have Apple TV. Hmm? You can watch the other, the Changeling. It has nothing to do with the Changeling, which I'm assuming also has nothing to do with the Changeling. <laughs> Which, again, has nothing to do with Garden of Sinners. Ah, there's ghosts. So are you implying that I am a changeling? Maybe. That that I was ki- that the real Johnny Ruha was killed as a child and replaced with an orphan? I wouldn't know. You would not. You would not. Okay, so, episode seven. Well, do you want to general impressions of episode seven or you want to kind of do a whole let's, review let's of this do show? let's do let's do both okay let's start with episode seven okay um episode seven apart from some like like weird drug things and far as like they it just seems like like, this marijuana is so potent, it'll make you crazy. Like, I get that it's magic marijuana, yeah. but it's just the fact that they chose marijuana and LSD. It's some of the most, like, harmless drugs uh, to be, like, this this super dark, well, like, drive you crazy. The good stuff was, like, infused with his blood, and he's, like, crazy. Yeah. So it's just, like, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> yeah, like, the stuff, like, okay. But it's just like, yeah, you smoked this marijuana three times and rot your brain into becoming crazy because it was magic. But at least they were just like, at least it wasn't like, this is Radio. really capable of marijuana. This is a, this is a special magical breed like that this, Araya Soryu yeah. uh, cooked up. powerful mage gave me. But it's just like the fact that just marijuana and LSD is so funny. <laughs> like, I didn't remember that that's what it was. Like, this, there's this new drug cocktail. It's mixing a marijuana and LSD. Like, I know, like I'm sure... Like, I've been to parties in college where people were on that drug cocktail, <laughs> marijuana and LSD. I'm sure of it. Not me, because I'm a little, I'm a goody two shoes boy yeah. who refuses to do stuff like that. But I wasn't invited to those parties. Yeah. I, I wasn't either. A mutual friend of ours was, and he's like, Do you want to come along with me? And I, the people hosting the party didn't want me there, I can tell you that much. <laughs> 
And I'm like, why did I agree to come? Because <laughs> I'm lonely. And Speaking I don't have my own friends. Speaking of lonely. Episode 7. Yeah. Um, it's it's a, I think it's a good culmination of everything. It ties together the Araya Soryu arc. Because we, we've talked about this plenty to length. There's two types of Garden of Sinners episodes. There's Shiki episodes. And then there's Mystery of the Week episodes. Okay. And this is Paradox both, yeah. Spiral kind of tied them both together. Oh. And this continued to tie them both together. And that it is... You know, very much tied to whatever Raya Soryu was doing with all the the people whose origins he was awakening. And very much a culmination of Shiki and... How so in that way? The Araya Sorin. Well, that guy, who we can name now... Well, can we? No, we can't name. That's spoilers. Um, That was the last guy that whose origin he awakened to to try to get to Shiki. So, oh, okay, so he awakened that guy to try to. Yeah, get it was. Shiki. That's why he was awakening everybody's origin was. Okay, was, was basically to unlock Shiki. Yeah, because this ties into study. This episode seven is called the Study Murder Part Two. Yes, um, or Murder Investigation Part Two, or something like that. Depends on the translation. Yeah, um, Murder Speculation, whatever. Um, and this flashes back to the first one, to when they're back in high school, and some of the stuff that happened at that time. And that was, you know, in an attempt to to get to Shiki. It's, everything's in an attempt to get to Shiki. Yeah. Uh, this is just sort of a remnant of, like, that attempt. I think mm-hmm. at this point, Araya Suryu was done with him. But the stuff that he did in the... That happened in the background of A Study Murder Part 1 was was tied to that. All right, okay. sorry, he shows up in that flashback. Yeah, I saw it. Which we did not see him in. That is true. In in the study murder part one, his scenes were cut <laughs> intentionally. Mm-hmm. Not it's like, like they were telling it's not story. like they existed and then they were cut from the movie. I mean, like they existed in the the sense of the story, but they were deliberately not shown in the first step of the yeah. movie. And I know how that works. <laughs> I'm elaborating. For all three of our listeners. <laughs> okay. This is just reminding me of a bit I got later. Okay. Uh, but I don't know. I really I really liked it. Same. Um, eight, I could take or leave. You mean epilogue? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Not ep- ep- eight. Eight is something else entirely, which I don't, I think I really like, but it's been too long since I've seen it. Um, the... Yeah, I liked... Um, there's a couple things that I I guess I don't get or like are not a fan of, but other than that, it's very solid. Um, as as far as the whole show's show as a whole goes, I really like it. Uh huh. I feel like there's a reason I haven't watched it like every yeah. year. Like it's mm-hmm. like a once every <laughs> five years sort of thing yes once every seven years i don't know when i watched it first it's just like a... calling it a chore is usually like a bad thing to say something but well, it's just like towards the end we just know that it's going to be a time investment yeah and and a brain investment which is not always what we're in the mood for like we we could have recorded this a while ago but or a couple days ago but it's like I had a headache. I did not want to watch epilogue on a headache and then talk about it for half an hour or 45 minutes. You Mm -hmm. know, like, we just, I needed to delay it because I wasn't feeling good. You know, where I was like, yeah, I could watch. What did we even end up watching that night? We watched, well, we... we, (laughs) This wasn't a goofy movie, was it? No. (laughs) Because we ended up watching... um, it was Saturday night. I think we actually... We oh, ended we ended up watching The Changeling. <laughs> we watched The Changeling and... Um, and Zodiac. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's not like I went and chose something else, but it was just something that I was like, okay. I I know what I was getting into with Epilogue. I sort of knew. <laughs> I sort of knew what I was getting into with Zodiac, but like it would be a new experience as mm-hmm. opposed to something I've, I've seen before. Also, my headache was feeling better by that point. Yeah. Um, and then I didn't know we were going to watch The Changeling until you're just like, it's on TV. It's on Starting TV. Starting in like 
five seconds. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's do it. Um. Okay, so we do in general thoughts of the show. Yeah. Right? So there are episodes we we just talked about like it being like a chore, but there are episodes where it was like okay we just watched episode three you want to watch episode four and we're like yes let's do (laughs) it but that's also when the episodes are shorter you know they were 45 minutes or something so it's like they they're good but it's like i would and i'd probably go back to like the first four episodes and then i would just sort of get like okay when do i want to commit to paradox spiral um you know, like I, I would go back. To I the could first, watch. I would go back to the first four episodes before I go back to the whole series. Is that yeah. makes sense? I could watch episode one like every year. Yeah, but episode one is just sort of like okay, we're yeah. It, it, I mean, episode one is also confusing when you know nothing about the show. But and... when you, okay, now that we know everything about the show, it's just like yeah, it's just a fun like hey, yeah, there's Shiki. She's yeah. being, she's having fun action scenes. And I don't have to worry too much about weird dialogue. There's some confusing stuff. But, uh, you know, I would I'd go back to that one easy. Yeah. Okay. Which also explains why it took so long to get you to watch the other ones. Because, like, I think you would watch at least the first two episodes. But then it's just sort of like, okay, now it's it starts not to become a chore. And yeah. we need to get... I, play board games or whatever when I'm hanging mm-hmm. out. It's like we'd watch it and be like, okay, well, we gotta watch yeah. this another day. But like, we, we, we would never have time. <laughs> we would be like halfway through the series if you didn't live in the same house as me at this point. <laughs> if we That's started true. at the same time, we would not, we'd have to be like, okay, we gotta get together once a week to watch this, but also we have to get together once a week to watch Ghibli movies with Brock, mm-hmm. and also we're gonna try to play board games or play magic or hang out with other people and this we would not be able to to get this done which this i'll tell you right now this podcast the minute you move out it's going to be a lot harder to do this podcast oh yeah we might move to once a month Mm -hmm. or just quit entirely yes or we'll have quit you know well before you move out who knows i know we made it episode 69 yeah i mean what else is there to do after this point it's true we get to 100 we can get syndication right typically I don't know how that works. <laughs> There's a whole episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force where they were scared of the 100th episode because like tax reasons or something, so they had to call the show something else. Like it was a plot in the show. Um, um, well, I know there's some Disney shows where they'll retitle it so they they don't have to give residuals to. Them. That's what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was the plot of the episode. So gotcha. <laughs> So, so Garden of Sinners as a whole, I really liked it. The fun, moody, just yeah, just turn the lights off and watch it. Yeah, don't think about it. <laughs> yeah, don't think too hard about it. Actually, you get stuck in a rabbit hole. <laughs> mm-hmm. But basically, if I'm like averaging all my scores, it's like eight and a half mm-hmm. as a mm-hmm. whole. I think I'd, I, I think I looking at it as a whole, not looking at it as an average of scores. I think I would just give it the nine get the nine mm-hmm. i don't know if i could do nine that's i mean that's fine if you didn't give any individual episode a nine or if you only gave one or two episodes a nine then that's fine yeah. i gave episode one an eight and a half to a nine so like in that range yeah and then episode four everything else is like eight eight and a half so. i see a seven and a half down there <laughs> that's just type of luck okay <laughs> I don't know if I get it. I got it generous, right? Seven and a half. (laughs) That's kind of generous. Epilogue is just, it's just there. You can't count it as an episode. Yeah. There's a reason why it's just a separate thing. It's just, yeah, it's just there. If you really want to, like, hear them talk in circles and contradictions, oh my God. I guess if you want, I guess. I am cheeky. I'm not cheeky. If you want an explanation, it kind of gives you it, but it's also just like, doesn't make sense. I mean, well, I'll just go into spoilers right now. Okay. Epilogue. So there's a third cheeky. I told you to write yeah. that down. In there is a episode. third cheeky, <laughs> um, sort of. It is the if I if I'm gonna try to summarize. Okay. Th- why there's a third? Skipping the plot of episode seven to go straight into epilogue. Yep, yep. And we'll talk about episode seven in a little bit. So the the plot of epilogue is that there is a third cheeky personality. In fact, 
Shiki had nothing been had nothing like magical been done by the Ryogi family, Shiki would have been a um, stillborn or a what yes. is that word I'm looking for? Um, miscarriage. Miscarriage. Okay. Because this third Shiki was like, yeah, I have the origin of nothingness. People born with the origin of nothingness are doomed to nothingness. Are doomed to nothingness. They they will not, mm-hmm. you know, develop a personality because the brain won't develop soon enough. There won't be anything there. We'll die. Mm-hmm. But because of the Ryogi's tampering of like forcefully trying to get like split personalities into their heirs, they awakened my origin of nothingness, which caused an anomaly, mm-hmm. which is a blight, which is a stain on this world. <laughs> I want to, but it allowed the body to develop a consciousness before the mind was developed. And normally the mind is what develops a personality. Yes. So at that point to create a buffer between myself and the world, I did what the Ryogis, you know, were, were intending to do, which is create two separate personalities as that buffer. Yes. Um, and then because I am nothingness, I might also be the, the root. I might be the, the spiral She's there. She's the spiral of origin. Yeah. So it's just like, I am nothing, but I am also everything, which yeah. makes me nothing. <laughs> yes. I have to, I could, I could recreate the world by crushing the current one with the thoughts of a new one, but I don't do, I don't, there's no reason for me to do that. So I must keep thinking and dreaming of nothing. <laughs> and it's like, okay. So that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> there's a third Shiki. She says, I'm the nothingness in between Shiki and Shiki. Um, um, is this the plot of Ed, Ed and Eddie? No. Okay. <laughs> that is not the plot. I think you mean the the id, the ego, and the super ego. <laughs> yeah. For more professionally known as the Ed, Ed, the Ed, the Ed, the Eddie. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> yeah, that's where the joke. I was, I was trying, trying to give when you mentioned that like fifteen minutes ago, half an hour ago. I was trying to give that some thought as to can I map. Ed, Ed, and Eddie to body, mind, soul. I, uh, I can do body and mind, but Eddie's not soul. Okay. <laughs> Ed is. Ed is. I didn't watch enough of the show to know. Ed is definitely body. There's no mind there. He's definitely okay. body. He's the he's the dumb strong one. Double D is definitely mind. He is nothing but a mind. Mm-hmm. But I would not call Eddie soul. Okay. <laughs> Eddie's an annoying twat. Is what I would call him. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, just a thought. Okay. Um, so you want to explain what happens in episode 7? Sure. Like I said, it's fairly straightforward. Yeah, so uh, murders are happening again. Eerily similar to the ones that we knew of before. I think you said 95? Mm-hmm. 90, yeah. Um, Shiki goes missing. Shiki goes mis- missing. Mikia suspects Shiki. Um, Mikia, it, Mikia pointedly says it's not Shiki but, but I don't know if yeah. he believes that <laughs> or I should say he believes that but <laughs> he's got to make sure he's got an open mind Yeah, mm-hmm. he's got to find the proof there um, so yeah he basically just goes out investigating um, we learn that drugs are involved in this mm-hmm. um, also then we get a flashback to where Arya was at the scene of the where Shiki gets ran over. Oh, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. You said Arya, and I'm like, you mean Araya? Araya, sorry. Whatever. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's just like Arya. Sorry, Araya. Um, then I wrote down Blood Chip. Mm-hmm. That's just what... the drugs coated in his blood. Mm-hmm. Um, we get some scenes where Shiki and Mikia are like in the, what do you call those? Alleys? Back yeah. streets? It's kind of weird. Some mm. visual stuff going on in there. At one point, Shiki fights like four just gang members. Yeah. Well, just... we learned that they were um, they were disciples of uh, Shirazumi Leo, who I would like to note, I made a comment on the first episode that I wrote down his name. Did they and... mention it in the first episode? Oh, well, not the first. The first episode of our podcast for this. Okay. Which he mentioned in episode two. Gotcha. His name gets mentioned once. Okay. 
he is seen on screen once, not the same time that his name was mentioned. <laughs> okay. And he is alluded to a couple of times. Okay, because he's a he was like a classmate of theirs, yes. right? So, so this is what I wrote down for the notes to help you jog your memory okay. of who this guy is. Shoshira Zumi Leo, he's an upperclassman that was like moving away, and Mikia went to the going away party for. So, like the scene where he's like singing in the rain or whatever okay. outside the school, he's like, "Oh yeah, I was just at the going away party for this upperclassman." Oh, uh, okay. Um. The one time we see him, um, he t- stops Shiki in the hallway and says something like, isn't four too many or something ominous as if like, as if alluding to the fact that he thinks she's the murderer or okay. something, but really it was the other way around. He was the murderer. Okay. So like he just, he just talked to Shiki once in the hallway gotcha. ominously. Um, and then the first night that Mikia went to go to she and we see this in the episode um, seven. The first night that she that Mikia went to go like stalk Shiki, I guess, make mm-hmm. sure she's not a murderer, hang out outside her house. Um, before he gets to her house, he like runs into somebody and is at a like goes to a diner or whatever and has a conversation with them. And we don't see who it is at that time. Okay. But that is Shirazumi Leo, and then we see Okay, you know they confirm that in the film. So he's uh, he's got his he's got his grubby little fingers all over episode two. He's also the one committing all the murders okay. in episode two. But I wrote down his name because I'm like, okay, we do see him. He's there. Uh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> but you don't recognize you don't think of him because he his name is not mentioned in the same place that you see his face, yes. and it's like maybe his name is mentioned twice, maybe. Yeah. So as you said. Shiki and Miki are investigating. Shiki runs into him. They fight. Um, she cuts off, cuts off his arm. arm. Yeah, and he's like, "Murder me! Become yeah a, a monster like me." Yeah, he his whole basically objective is to have Shiki kill somebody. Just just like he thinks that if she kills or murders somebody, that she, it'll like awaken her and they'll be like the same. Yeah. So he. He killed somebody. With one and, punch. Yeah, one punch! Um, he, his immediate thought to conceal the fact that he murdered somebody was to start eating him. Okay, so that was the scene? Yeah. Okay. So, Araya shows up and is like, bold choice. Let me awaken your origin. <laughs> your origin is consumption. And now he is... Now he eats people. And then he goes and... Um, you know, starts killing people, and he realizes that he is, he himself is alone in the type of person that he is, an awakened origin, a homicidal okay. maniac. A, yes. He exactly. wants somebody on his level. And the drugs that make people go crazy, and then the drugs that are, you know, blended with his mm-hmm. blood, are an attempt to get somebody like him to be made, and they keep being failures. Um, so like then... kills him over time, right? Yeah. The drugs do? Something like that. Something like that. Um... So like his his main plan is I'm gonna get I'm gonna push Shiki over the edge mm-hmm. and and get her to murder, and then when Shiki's like no because Miki says he won't forgive me and I can't bring myself to actually do it he's just like fine I'll kill Mikia the one person holding you back yes but he is actually genuinely like. Mikia was a friend of his. Like mm-hmm. Mikia has a calming presence on his, something that causes him to hesitate as as well. So his new goal is either kill Mikia or get Mikia to go crazy and, and join him. Yeah, they or get all or get both of them so they can be a power thruple of crazy homicidal maniacs. Um, but yeah, because he... Mikia finds Shirazumi. At least his apartment, and then they walk in, and that's where they talk about that, him and Mikia. Yeah. Um, and then after that, Mikia and Shiki talk. Basically, Mikia doesn't want Shiki to kill Shirazumi, but she's just like, I have to. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I forget why she says she has to. Well, because he's a homicidal maniac that okay. will not stop, stop and has basically threatened Mikia to Shiki. That's true. Um, and she doesn't want that. 
Um, what was the next thing I was going to say? Mikia, you're crazy. He doesn't. Um, oh, another thing that Shirozumi is like fine with. Like he's fine with killing, or he's fine with being killed by Shiki if it means that Shiki becomes like him. Yes. Um, because he's more concerned that he doesn't want to be like the only one. He doesn't want to be alone in the fact that this is how he is acting. Mm-hmm. So even if he dies in the process, the fact that he would get somebody at his level is like validation for his existence. Validation. Is, what, is what he's looking for. Okay. Um, go on with the, with the actual plot breakdown there. Um, okay. After that, we get at some point we get like a flashback to Shiki talking to her grandfather mm-hmm. before he. I think he literally dies in that scene. Quite possibly. Just, but the one thing he says that's like is brought up later a bunch of times is you can only kill someone once in your life. Once, and yeah. Once you kill somebody, you basically he says you can't kill yourself, which I'm basically taking as you. If you kill someone, you lose yourself. Okay. So this is so, where. So th- this is I might actually need help sort with of some clarification. This is actually this sort of a, 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 a um. I don't know. I'm not going to get the exact phrase right, but I can okay. get the general premise behind everything here, or I can try to explain this theme. And I think this theme is present throughout, um, you know, more of the show than just this episode. So, the the whole like recurring thing. Is that you can only murder somebody once. Um, after that, when when you commit murder, when you kill someone, you stop become you stop being a human being at that point. Okay. And if you're not a human being, you can't commit murder. You can only slaughter at that point. Gotcha. Um, so you can't. And I think like the grandfather was space basically saying like, okay, since I have killed someone, since I have committed murder. Um, either a it wouldn't be killing myself it would be putting down like a wild animal okay or b he feels as if the weight of my sin means that i can't i can't bring my i can't get rid of this weight by killing myself i have to live with it instead as my punishment or something gotcha. which obviously that does not hold true there are plenty of people who can commit suicide after killing people there are plenty of people who can who can kill, um, you know, and then find redemption yeah. after that. But, you know, there's also different... Murder is different than killing in that, you know, like, okay, if there's an accident, you know, that's not ruled as murder. That's ruled as they even kind of brought involuntary manslaughter. To where it's like, yeah, she didn't kill Arya. 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 Because he was not a human at that he point. He was not a human at that point. He, he was a monster. Yeah. Um, which I guess they're counting Shirozumi as still a person because mm-hmm. Miki is like, nope, nope, that does that counts as killing. Um, so, but that's that's the reoccurring thing. It's just like when you kill somebody, you also kill yourself that way. Okay, and if you can't kill yourself twice, it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. So, um, okay. you stop being a person at that point. Is the overarching theme. Uh, it's presented a little bit more confusingly than that because that's this show's bread and butter. Circular contradiction. Contradictory logic. Yes. They have to sift through and hope that you understand a small piece of mm-hmm. like gold. Sure. So after that, Shiki confronts Shirazumi at the weed farm. Mm-hmm. They fight. Um, Shiki's about to kill him, but she can't because of Mikia. Yes. So I believe. What does he does he like knock her out or yeah, something? Like knocks at that her point? out after that, then. Yeah, because then she wakes up and she's in handcuffs. Mm-hmm. And, and he's I, I just drooling wrote, all over her. Yeah, body. lots of saliva. <laughs> lots of fucking saliva. Just gross. Which then somehow evaporates later when Shiki's like going ham on him. It's just like. Yeah, I think she used her eyes and she killed the sweat. Okay. She killed the saliva. Gotcha. gotcha. You know, yeah, because she can do that. 
Sure. <laughs> yep. That's living. That's got microorganisms in it. Sure. That's how I, that's how I'm taking it. She can yeah. just kill the saliva. Um Mikia also through his own investigative powers shows up. Um this is after I don't know how he found this place, but yeah. Um this is after she's been captured. Mm-hmm. Um we just have to assume he did his he did his due diligence. Yeah, he's he's the world's greatest detective. Yeah, um, he gets his ass handed to him by Shirazumi because he's not trying to fight back. That's not no. his thing. Mikia goes and talks to people. Mm-hmm. That's his thing. He tries to he tries to get them to be the people they could be. Yes. Um, but Shirazumi's too far gone, mm-hmm. so he like force feeds him a bunch of magic weed <laughs> in the blood chip. <laughs> No, no, no. He tries oh, okay. to get him. He gives him the choice of the blood chip. Gotcha. Um, he's like, oh yeah. He's like, I gave you like five times the amount that would kill a human. <laughs> yeah, this, this this amount of weed would kill a kill a man or drive him and drive his brain rotting insane. It's like, no, he's just super high. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it's like you have to take the blood chip to bring you. To, to save some remnant of you, but then you'll be a madman like me, otherwise you'll die. Uh, and he's just, just like, like nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'd rather just die. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. And then he just like goes off on him, calling him like a poser and a loser and stuff. I don't know the word he yells that, but it's like, yeah, you suck. Um... <laughs> so he gets... He gets... Uh, one. Does he get his... Uh... Something happens to his legs. He gets stabbed in the yeah, leg. Yeah, he stabs him in the leg. And does he get stabbed in the eye with Shiki's knife? He, like, cuts him. Yeah. It wasn't like a stab. It was more like a... Like a slice. Slice. Okay. We presume he's dead. He did He did keen damage to him. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say what that's from. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I should cut that. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um... The cuts cuts him with the knife. Shiki go, at this yeah. point. Does, she, does Shiki she, broken out at this point? She like bit her thumb off and got out. Yeah. But that that she does that before he comes back up to her. I think so. Because like I think he gets back up to where she was and she's out. She yeah, she's free from the handcuffs. Mm-hmm. Um and he's like, Oh, you bit your thumb off. Hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I'm immediately like, damn. And then I'm like, wait a minute, that's a puppet arm. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, really we good think it's arm. the puppet arm. We hope it's the puppet arm. I lost track of which arm of hers is the puppet arm. She can't get a new one easily, though, because Toko is... She... Yeah, Toko just leaves. Toko's like, I've been here long enough. It's time for me to ghost everybody in my life again. <laughs> which I think is because Toko is not the... Uh, not the unshadiest of people she's a little shady i got you um she i think she's wanted by the yeah she's wanted by the mages guild or mages association oh really i believe so nice um because like just some of the stuff i was reading on her wiki it's just like she like the spirit board that she spent a bunch of money on that was i guess like apparently that like hurt her sister's credit rating somehow um so she just buys things to hurt her sister's credit rating, even if it's like, yeah, it might draw attention from the Mages Association, but my more important goal is, <laughs> wow, is the is just to fuck with my sisters. Um, um, okay, um, yeah, but Chirazumi is just like, I've killed Mikia. He tried to break in, and I showed him a thing or two. And yeah. Shiki's like, all right, well, fuck it. <laughs> you want to play this game? Well, she goes Time this to play monologue this monologue where it's like, yeah, man, Mikia told me not to kill you. And I believe him, but I got to. <laughs> it's like, I'm done with it. Yeah. You got to be put down. Yeah. <laughs> You're an animal. Um, and then she cuts off all of his limbs. <laughs> and then Well, she lets him. him get off a few shots first. I don't know why. I just give him, you know, make it even the playing okay. field. <laughs> Just... And or because she's shocked about Mikia That's supposedly being dead. Um, but yeah, she's injured. She kills him. Mikia is like, I'm not dead. I crawl up. I live, bitch. <laughs> it's like, I love you. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then uh, 
She's like, I, I'm sorry, I, I murdered. Um, I can't forgive you. And he's like, all right, I don't forgive you, but I will bear the weight of your sin. I told you that. So we can still be a couple. Okay. Nice. <laughs> then they hug. And then... Uh, they go to the hospital. Yeah. And then he gets out of the hospital, and I'm assuming the nurses that called him the puppy dog I think dog they were the same guy. <laughs> Yeah. You know, say goodbye to him. Shiki's waiting outside. He's like, you didn't come visit me once? He's like, your sister said she would kill me if I did. He's like, all right, good call. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to take care of me. Yeah. She's like, well, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> At least I didn't want to. Being a real Sundara. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> they hold hands. She's like, this is what I want. My yeah. story's over. Or is it? Is it sort of? Epilogue! <laughs> That's not... I... <laughs> That, yeah. I told you that's not that's not her story. Her story is over. Yeah, this is the is story over. of the third Shiki, <laughs> the one who's from the origin of nothingness. Is that a band name? The third Shiki. The third Shiki. Yes, okay. it's like the third body, but the third Shiki. Um, third Shiki blind. We already talked about it. <laughs> it's confusing. They're just in the snow. This third personality. Yeah, it's just a discussion of the we body learn and the. Holy Ghost. <laughs> we learn in the episode, uh, we learn that in episode two, where there's a quick scene of him like meeting her for the first time before they meet each other at school, in, mm-hmm. in a similar thing where, oh he's yeah, walking I forgot about snow. that. Um, you know that was like, oh yeah, that was the third Shiki at that time too. Mm-hmm. So um, I kind of forget because Shiki kind of plays it off, right? Yeah, I don't know that they met before. I don't remember if Miki like mentions to her that they met before, or if Shiki's just like, "Why is this guy so familiar with me?" Okay, I got you. Or if, or if, if Miki does say like, "Don't you remember we met before?" and Shiki's just like, "I mean, maybe." <laughs> gotcha. Like maybe I met you. I don't remember that. Um, it wasn't a core memory for me like it was for you. Um, now this Shiki, the the other two Shikis were aware of each other. This one yes. they are not aware of. Correct. So, um, but it's also like, this is the real Shiki? Technically. But also, n- she's nothing, so it doesn't really matter. She's like, I could heal that limp and that eye wound of yours. It'd be nothing. But you don't me. want anything. But you don't want anything. And then maybe she heals him anyway, because they, they're very deliberate when he's walking up, that we see he's walking with a limp. He's he's leaving a trail, a limp trail mm-hmm. in the snow, and I don't. It doesn't look. It like doesn't he's look limping. like he's limping when he moves away. So I don't know. We didn't see that eye either. Mm-hmm. Well, the hair is still covering it. Who knows? Who knows? There is. We. I don't know if we get to see Mikia in movie eight. I know we get to see. Okay, movie eight. Some of it takes place. Yeah. 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 You after can't... some of it takes place before mm-hmm. i don't know if we get to see after mikia okay. in movie eight i know i think there's at least one scene where we see after shiki but i don't know if we see after miki i don't know okay and i haven't read that book i did find a like a fan translation of it um because i don't think it was released in english of the whatever the final one is called of the book the one that is not adapted into a what movie my biggest gripe with Episode 7 and epilogue is they didn't give Mikia an eye patch. <laughs> totally could have rocked an eye patch. Still can. He still can. Let's hope. You know why he doesn't have an eye patch? Why? Because in the video game Sea of Stars, there's a character named Kenathan who wears two fucking eye patches. He took. There's not enough eye patches to go around because that guy took two. I think there's more eye patches than two. Well, there are, but their other characters are using them one at a time. But this motherfucker, he can see in both of his eyes, takes both eye patches. My brother used to have an eye patch. I think I remember that. Forget what for. But he's had really bad eyes. He have he didn't just have like an eye infection or something. I don't think so. I think it had something to do with his like vision. He had okay. to like cover it every so often so that the other eye could focus. Hmm. hmm. Well, there's somebody, there's a girl in our grade in school who had an eye patch, like in grade school. I don't want to say her name because. Tell me off mic. I don't remember. Okay. I can tell you off mic. That's okay. fine. Um, it was like first or second grade, probably. I don't really remember. I think she had an eye patch at one point or like a bandage over her eye. Mm. Um, 
I'll, I'll tell you after. Don't worry okay. about it. Um, yeah, I think that's that's common with eye patch. It's just like, oh yeah, it's something you can do to help with your eyes, mm-hmm. or or if you had surgery on your eye or something, just to kind of keep you from from debris getting into it. Mm-hmm. Um, just can't remember why. Just text your brother. Hey, why'd you have an eye patch as a kid? And he'd be like, I had an eye patch as a kid? I don't remember I don't that. Do you remember? <laughs> probably have to ask your mom. And she's like, why she are you asking? I don't remember either. <laughs> well, I don't know who else you can ask. Because if your mom's not remembering, I don't think your dad is. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he didn't have an eye patch. Maybe I'm just thinking he did. Maybe you saw a hook as a child. <laughs> and you're like, that guy's got curly hair. My brother has curly hair. Nah. He had an eye patch. <laughs> okay. I know we had an eye patch. And I'm assuming it was for him. <laughs> Maybe you were the one. Because he was the kid with all the health problems. And now it's the opposite. He's the most physically fit of all your kids. All, all, you, all your siblings. Well, that's athletic. He still has the most <laughs> issues. Okay. Okay. Well, that's enough about eye patches and family. Okay. <laughs> People we knew in grade school. Had an eye patch. <laughs> I can't tell you. We're still on mic. Dang it. Do you want me to give you initials? Nah. I'm gonna. Do you want me to write it down? I think I'm gonna Johnny Carson. Paper? <laughs> yeah, just write it down. Who was it? I don't believe you. <laughs> I guarantee you, she did. <laughs> okay. I don't remember that at all. I don't know what to tell you. I'm pretty sure she did. Do you have any final thoughts? Um, go watch these by yourself in the dark when you're sad. When you're that's the sad. Best. That's the best way to watch things. When you're sad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just not like depressed, just a little melancholic. Gotcha. That's that's how I... It... Yeah, I feel like you don't want to watch these when you're happy. Yeah. It's too much of a bummer when you're happy. Yeah. Um, You've got to be in the right mood for it. Mm-hmm. You're just slightly melancholic. Gotcha. Which is also how I watched... Bo Burnham's inside, by myself, in the dark, in my underwear, slightly melancholic. Nice. Does something. It improves the improves everything. Okay. Well, there's nothing else to say. Uh, um, yeah, I don't really think I have anything else to say. Do you know what we're doing next? Um, it'll either be the we may or may not cover on the podcast um the eighth movie okay and the like the three probably shorts. not probably not i think we're a little like we're gonna watch them 100 yeah. percent. we're just a little like we don't have much to say Correct. after four episodes of this mm-hmm. um i don't think we could have broken it up any differently but yeah. um the if not i've only got like Six episodes of Dragon Ball to watch. Oh, really? You're, you're that close? Oh, I'm pretty close. Okay. It might be more like. 10 I don't know how far or how close you were. It, it might be more like ten episodes, but okay. I'm 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 in the end game here. Um, I'm in the end game. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a Google Slides presentation of okay. either. Here's some here's some, you know, lesson plan for teaching you the rundown of uh-huh. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, a little bit of Dragon Ball Super and GT. Okay. Just the um, important stuff. I'm going to share that with a friend of the show, Brock, who says he'll add stuff to it when he gets a chance. He doesn't have internet at his house right now, so I don't know if he'll actually be able to do that. Um, So I'll be giving you, assuming I get that made in the next two and a half weeks here before we have to have another episode out, um, we'll probably do that as our first video podcast. Okay. If If I don't have everything ready by then... We will do it eventually as a video podcast, um, and we'll just pick something else to watch. Maybe we'll do a... Um, Probably do a winter. Yeah. Or a fall. A or, fall. Because um, we actually watched... Yeah, we watched a good amount of shows mm-hmm. here, so I don't know if we're going to watch more than one episode of some of the shows, but... Oh, yeah. Um, well, we, we might do a fall preview then um, mm-hmm. to, to buy time. Yeah for getting stuff ready but hopefully brock will be able to be on it with us so so when you see how ugly we are you can at least look at brock and be like well at least there's not that <laughs> i don't know brock's got an argument for one 
I mean, Brock's, Brock's probably in better shape than us right now. Sure. Uh, I guess he cares. He goes to the gym and I refuse to exercise. <laughs> yeah. It's not that I refuse to exercise. I'm too lazy. It's like, I'd rather watch TV and eat junk food. Or go to bed at 8.30, which is what I did last night. Okay. Not in, okay. In my defense, I was nodding off around 8.30. Woke up at like 9.10 realized, like, okay, I, I was just asleep for like 40 I'm minutes. I so tired. I don't know. But I was tired. I might have been slightly sick. I don't know. Okay. Might have just been like, my body needs to recuperate. Um I had like a sore throat starting yesterday. I think you can tell my voice is maybe a little off right now. I can tell yesterday you were asleep when I got home. <laughs> no, I mean like right <laughs> now my voice is still a little off. Yeah, that sounds um, about right. And just annoying as ever. <laughs> um, and I don't know. I don't think I have a fever. I took my temperature this morning and I had less than ninety eight point six. Oh, shit, are you dead? Yeah, apparently. Um. But I think that's actually my thermometer because it's like, except for when I had a really bad fever, Mm -hmm. like when I had COVID, um, my thermometer, it's like always says that my body temperature is, you know, below what it's supposed to be. And it's like, I think my thermometer is just off. Mm -hmm. Either that or I constantly have hypothermia, which I don't think is true. (laughs) I don't think that's true. Um, Anyways, thanks for listening. Follow us on x <laughs> on twitter at anime underscore territory we are on basically any podcast service um what else am i missing youtube youtube anime, anime territory. territory cityscape mm-hmm. this is us. yeah yeah there's a couple of things called anime territory mm-hmm. but the podcast one the cityscape um mm-hmm. i think done? that's it okay. you are now leaving the anime territory goodbye